Okay, this is the second part of the conjecture dictionary for chapter two. This is conjecture uh, C3A, the corresponding angles conjecture. It says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the corresponding angles are congruent. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use my marker tool and I'm going to click on the vertex of the angle, click hold it down and drag it into the angle to create this arc and do the same thing here again at the bottom. I can then click on, if you deselect everything, so click on the white part. If you click on these angle markers here, you can measure the angles together. Okay, so I have my angle measures and this conjecture is just stating that those two angles are congruent. So I'm going to highlight both of those angles, go to number, tabulate, and now I have my table here of data. To get the display down here so I can change the font size, I go to D display, show text palette, and I can change the font size. So let me increase this here to 36. So there's one relationship. I can move this again and show a second, and then move it again to show a, uh, to show a third. All right, C3B. Alternate interior angle conjecture. Uh, it says if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the alternate interior angles are congruent. So again, I'm going to use that same technique of click on the vertex and drag into the angle. Click on the vertex and drag into the angle. Highlight both of those. Got it. And we're going to measure the angles. I have my two angle measures. I know that they are congruent. I'm going to highlight both of those, go to number, tabulate, have my table, increase the font, and I'm going to move it around. So if I move this over or move this back, you can see no matter what that those angles would be congruent. The last one, three C, or C3C, the alternate exterior angle conjecture. If two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then the alternate exterior angles are congruent. So again, I'm going to show here, drag or click on the vertex drag into the angle, click on the vertex drag into the angle. We're going to measure those, measure angles, and then we're going to tabulate that data. So as I move this, you can show that no matter what, that those will stay congruent. All right, the last one. C3 and C4, the parallel lines conjecture. It says if two parallel, excuse me, if two parallel lines are cut by a transversal, then corresponding angles are congruent, alternate interior angles are congruent, and alternate exterior angles are congruent. So for this one, let's go ahead and show that. Let's show our corresponding angles. And I'll show corresponding angles with one marking. I will show alternate interior angles with two markings. So when you drag in, if you click it one more time, It'll put that second arc. And then lastly, alternate exterior angles. I'm going to match up this alternate, this exterior angle here with this exterior angle here. So you can see that we have one, two, three markings. So the one matches with the one, the two to two, and then the three to three. And again, if you want to add those arcs, you simply click on it and it will keep adding them. So that was the three. Okay, let's match these up. So let me show you that these are congruent measure angles. So my pair of corresponding angles are congruent. My pair of alternate interior angles are also congruent. And lastly, my pair of alternate exterior angles are congruent. Okay, those are all a bit big. So let's go ahead and reduce the font size. Um, and let's make a table. Actually, let's go separate tables. I'll make a table here. Number, tabulate. So here's a table for this data. So again, as I move this, I can show how these are differing. Okay. Let's make a second table. Oops, let's deselect everything. Highlight only those two things. Number, tabulate. And again, show that. So here's one, two, and then three. And then for my last one, these two together, number, tabulate, one, two, and three.